What's going on, everyone? This is the DC Incentives Podcast, episode 27. We here, 19B Showroom. Introduce yourselves. Appreciate you. What's going on, man? You already know. <clears throat> Go by Mo, you know what I mean? Big Spendy, you know what I mean? But we're going <laughs> off with 19B Showroom, man. Like, this is what we do. This is a franchise, you know what I mean? We decided to want to give back. To our community That's the main thing What we started on doing this though You know what I'm saying And um, I'm like look We gotta get this shit done You feel what I'm saying Let's get it And I'm like look I gotta get a team In order to get it done You know what I'm saying So I said hey cuzzo You know what I mean Look Let's do what we gotta do to I mean look Let's bring it back You feel me well, well, I respect that Alright so <clears throat> um, I go by Splurge uh, Splurge Mr. Splurge uh, um, Tamir Whatever you wanna call me not whatever you want to call me, because a lot of people only gonna call me one thing, because that's what they know, that's what they know me about. But uh, you know, 19B showroom. Me and Cuz came up with the with the idea one day, and we just attacked it straight like that. Like it was no 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 yo, we about to overthink. Nah, we we said we gonna do something. We set out to do it, and we put our best foot forward, and we and now we here, doing good. All right, definitely. All right, so let's let, let's get let's get straight into it. All right, so my first question is, what walk me through with your ideas, your your thought, the thought process, what, the thought process. Yeah, yeah. The nineteen yeah. B. How how did it how did it turn to a reality? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you though. Like <clears throat> everybody know, like my father. You know what I mean? Which is his his father, his father and my father, they brothers. So y'all know exactly what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Uncle Sal, Uncle Born. Everybody know what's going on. For you sure, understand? for sure. Same bloodline. I'm going to be honest. Like, this shit is in my DNA just like it's in his DNA. Our fathers get fly. Like, that's is no other way around it. You understand? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so your fathers got fly. And uh, your fathers got fly. So you guys grew up seeing a bunch of fashion, a bunch of people with style. How did that turn into, hey, cousin, we got to work together and start something? All right, so um, it started like it it, it 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 turned it went from that to this because um, I always was selling clothes since like a, a teenager. Like I was just always like I get sneakers, pay like five hundred for them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm a teenager at the time. I gotta I gotta resell shit. You feel me? I ain't have a steady income at the time, so I was just buying expensive clothes and I would flip it before the reselling got popular. Then like as we got older. I start this. I start getting with Cuz. I'm like, yo, like I got these hats going, and he seen how it was going crazy. He like, yo, matter of fact, let's just put all this under one roof, and we going we gonna turn it into a store. My father had a store. That's where the 19B come from. The 19B stand for 19 Branford Place, which was the address on the original store, which is which is where we decided to get this first store. That's where at, the originality came from. Then, uh-huh. It didn't work out. I mean, it didn't work out, so we just still kept the name just to, to keep the legacy, and we bought it. Bought it you know what's funny about that, though? I was the main one. I was like, yo, like, I want to do it at my uncle's store. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my father, my father, brother's store, let's do it there. Like, you know what I mean? But the only thing was, like, no bullshit is, is that at the end of the day, it didn't work out that way. From back in the day when I grew up in that store, just like he did, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it wasn't the same. You know what I mean? We wanted to do what we wanted to do, but... As far as, as as the way it was, I didn't even want to buy and invest and put into that. You know what I mean? The specifics of why the first time it didn't work out. Uh, basically, what it was is honestly, it was at a, 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 a it, it was it was a disaster. You it know was what I mean? janky. It was it was terrible. So you said like bad timing, basically? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the pro- no. The pro- the pro- the property, it was the nah. property. You like, ever seen he was janky like, promoters? He was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it was janky business. It was yeah, janky. Man. It was janky uh, store sales. He was yeah. trying to sell us a spot yeah. that basically like needed a whole, lot, a of whole lot of work, and they wasn't trying to work with us. They was trying to make us <clears throat> oh, do so everything they just, ourselves. They just you guys over, That's ba- yeah, basically right, what they were trying yeah. to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. They mm-hmm. was trying to take advantage of us. Mm-hmm. On, top, on top of a fucking sham shack that it was. You yeah. know what I mean, though? Being honest with you, though. You know what I mean? But we're going to leave that alone, though, man. The, ma- the main thing of what it was is because, look, we ain't going to bash it down. You know what I'm saying? We'd be here all day talking about that Plus, shit. We're going to let, you know let the man up top. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to remember, you got to remember. They, they, you know what I mean? They still looking. They need their shit to be bought. They might be on a lot. They, they might be on the line right That's now. That's all I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? They look like, you know what I'm saying? Wild Lake of Salah. Wild Lake of Salah. Wild Lake of Salah. But, um, nah, man, you know, as a, as a kid, man, like, just, 
You know what I mean? As far as from investing and doing what the hell I got to do is is not a joke. It's real. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I've seen a lot of people in my life go. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen a lot of people out here, you know what I mean, that people think it's funny because they on drugs nowadays. Or, you know what I mean, they they, they fell victim to, the, to, 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 to society or what they want it to be as what they put it out here for us to be. It's not a joke. You know what I mean? That's why I go hard every day in the last literally 10 to 11 years. I've been investing and putting my grind into it. You know what I'm saying? He'll tell you. Like, he watched fact. me. You understand what I'm saying? This is not my first adventure on entrepreneur. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. This is just, it's just, it's like game number three or four. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> if you win three or four games in a championship in the NBA, what's, what's going to happen? You you want, you, you're a champion, right? Mm -hmm. Pass me my ring. You know what I mean? Give me my ring. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just the bottom line of what it really is or why we, you know what I mean? Giving back and doing what we need to do. My skull. So Mr. Splurge started off, you know, selling clothes. How did you start off? Well, honestly, I own a lot of different businesses. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I mean? This was something at the end of the day, like I said, he just said it. Yo, I seen him going crazy, literally. Like, I'm like, bro, he he doing the hats. You understand what I'm saying? What did you and do? At the end of the day, I was I owned a medical tram station company. Oh. Still in effect of that. You know what I mean? Okay. The properties. You understand oh. what I'm saying? So when I seen the vision of what it was, I said, I see him selling hats. He doing what he doing. I'm going to go get a franchise behind it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Not a store, a whole franchise. A whole franchise. Not only just for me, but to be able to give back. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I got a lot of nieces and nephews. You know what I mean? A lot of cousins. You know what I mean? This is only the beginning. People think, oh, it's just the... This is only the beginning. If I got it, my whole family going to have that's it. And that's a fucking no, that's fact. That's, 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 that's right a fact. You understand respect. what I'm saying? This yeah. is just the beginning of what it started off on. And mm. we blood tie. You understand what I'm saying? I got to do what I got to do. And I love my supporters at the end of the day too. And that's just as blood time. That's you understand what I'm saying? That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. Because without your supporters, and we on live now, and they know what's going on. Without y'all, you understand what I'm saying? We it ain't no us. You feel me? It ain't yeah. no 19B. It ain't no 19B. For sure. Mm. You feel me? For sure. That's the reason why I decided to do it. You know mm. what I mean? So you're one of those people that see something in somebody, and if you trust them, you know you just want to explode their ideas. Absolutely. Explode their, explode Absolutely. Their, I'm going to tell, tell you like this. Absolutely. Him? <clears throat> Trust in him. You gotta show this man, bro. Literally, like you know what I'm okay. saying. Like you could, anybody could talk a good game. You know what I'm saying. No we, was, yeah. we was blessed and being we, able to we, be able we to talk. Heard, we heard it all. We was blessed mm. to be able to talk. To have they get forget. You know what I'm saying. So, but I I display my I display my loyalty to him when I started helping him with the medical transportation company. You feel what I'm saying. Mm. Okay. And he seen. Like, oh, nah, cuz, really like that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Then I did my own thing. Then he, yo, you want to do something? Just that. We talked about other business ventures, but this made the most sense. Because we both in this field. You feel what I'm saying? We yeah. known for this. So we like, all right. We grew up around it. Yeah. yeah. We, we grew up together. One day I want to say I really respect both of you guys, family, doing this. Like, yes. you don't see that often. Yeah, especially in, especially exactly. in the black Absolutely. community. Exactly. Absolutely. I had to give exactly. you guys your props. I facts. You. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Facts. 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 You know facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, I, and I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you, you hear the word love a lot. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm being honest with you, though. If I love, I love hard. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? If I don't love, I don't love at all. You understand? There's no in between. You understand yeah. what I'm saying to you? I don't know how to fake love. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know how to, you understand what I'm saying to you? At the end of the day, when I bust my ass 10 years ago and I opened up that ambulance company, it was just to make sure that I'm good first so I could be able to make sure that my family is good. Mm. You just living your truth. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. a fact. That's a that's fact. Yeah. So what did the failed business, uh, as in addition to you know starting your own ambulance company, what are those business practices teach you in, pre in preparation for 19b man that ambulance company that i still currently own uh -huh. you know what i mean like this this is this is this is where it begun you understand what i'm saying before properties before anything that right there you know what i mean you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. a lot a lot a lot a lot of grind into it to get to where i needed to be today i'm gonna tell you i could say one thing that i learned off of off of seeing him do what he do mm -hmm. it's discipline Mm. You gotta be disciplined in okay. order to. You got a vision. I mean, it might not happen as fast as you want it to happen, but if you take them little steps, them steps become become bigger. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And me just being around him and just hanging with him and just even like doing doing business ventures with him, it's just the discipline. The discipline is there. The discipline is there. Like as far as like even with the financial situation, discipline. You gotta lock in. And he taught me that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He taught me how to lock in for real. Like, yo, cuz, just fall off of this for a minute, put 
that chicken up, then come back in like two months. You're gonna be you gonna look at it and be like, oh. It's a fact. Living proof. You feel discipline is what everybody needs. You understand oh. what I'm saying? That's why they make prisons out here. You know what I'm saying? For discipline and shit like that. You have to be disciplined. You understand what I'm saying to you? When you discipline yourself at the end of the day, there's nothing at the end of the day that you can't be stopped from what you need to do. As us being black people, a yes. black male coming yes. up from the city of North. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta have discipline. That's a fact. Yeah. And I'm 29, he 30. Like, you feel me? And we survived out here. Mm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Shit. That shit is big. Like, we by got a mer- lot of, by the mercy of by Allah, the mercy of Allah. We got a lot of friends and family that never made it to see 25. Literally. You feel what I'm saying? Literally. So I wake up every day and make dua for all of us. For the store, my family, my close friends, all that. Literally. Just so we can stay graceful. Like, we can stay graceful, we can stay covered and all that. Like, this is, this is, this is. This is like, the stores just start, the stores really start hitting me probably like a month ago. Like, yo, we really got the store and this shit going crazy. Well, so walk me through the store. Like, so walk me through when you saw this property, you like, yo, we're going to put 19B showroom right in this store. Like, like walk me through that <laughs> process. What he was saying, though, you know what I mean? This, honestly, and a lot of customers come in, they be like, I was going to buy the store on Branford. It was not suitable it wasn't right for the value of what i was going for for the franchise yeah. it didn't make sense you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. yeah when it didn't make sense mm. don't make dollars. Exactly. so how did you know this location was the one a lot a lot of this i probably is the first mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying is the first second of all then they've been from the city of Newark, then a lot of people may not know halsey street has a foundation behind it what's the foundation you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. that this here if you see downtown mm-hmm. this might be the only strip where there's black lives matter on the ground let's go wow. let's go let's go yeah yeah black lives matter yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Black, black lives matter that was the right first on the strip that's yeah. a fact that's and a fact this strip right here Did alone, I say more? This, this strip right here alone is just numerous of black owned businesses on this strip I peeped that. I did peep that. <laughs> he, he actually showed me. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. father owned Yum Yum Bean Pop Bakery. It was a bakery, of course, right here on Treat Place. If you come down Halsey, make that left on the Branford Treat Place right there, across the street from where his father owned the clothing store. Yeah. Mm. All I'm going to say, you guys are destined to be entrepreneurs out here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> come on, you know, man. No, to come on, man. Now. Come on. And the point that you guys are just taking action, and you, you guys are on age. Right. And yeah, this right. tells me, like, right. get the fuck up and do your shit. Yeah, exactly. You got to do, yeah. Bro, like, like, I, just, yeah. I was working at the hospital, bro. Like, really busting my ass. He'll tell you, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm here. Were we building a store? If we building a store, I'm here. I'm leaving on straight to work, coming it's back here in, in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we talk no, about this shit. No sleep. We like, yo, I'm like just he like, said, yo, two, three months, yo, I got to get the fuck out of this shit. I'm like, say no more. That's like, yo, he like, yo, and I mean that shit. That's what, what I'm saying. Like, the thing is, behind a lot of shit is, like he said, to go back to it is loyalty. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, it, it take a lot for me to trust a motherfucker. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I get yes. it. I get it. I don't give a fuck if you are family. Though. That's a fact. It's who you are at the end of the day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Blood don't make family. Loyalty do. Yep. And I, I stuck to that shit. You feel me? Right. Yeah. So is 19B just you and your cousin? Exactly. We have also two. Uh, sneaker charge. He's not here today. He's yeah. always usually off on Sundays. That's our, you know, that's our sneaker plug. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not okay. going to lie to you. That is the man at the end of the day who makes sure he get what he got to get done for the store mm-hmm. and do what he got to do, which is necessary for us. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out that's to John. That's what that man is paid for. Shout out to John. Shout man. out to John. You know Shout out to John. Yeah. John so, Sneaker. So, so. <laughs> sneaker Charge. Sneaker Charge. You go by Sneaker Charge. Sneaker Charge. Sneaker Charge. I tried to throw it out there. I said Sneaker Charge. Sneaker Charge. You come in 19B, everybody know the job. Sneaker Charge, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneaker Charge. Sneaker Charge. Colorful names. He said, Because no, because when somebody, because he has his own business, too. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. So when somebody else has their own business, you give them their fucking credit and their props for what the fuck, and value yeah. what the value of what it is. You feel what I'm saying? That man got his own shit going, You too. know, I think it's like not a coincidence. Like, once you get yourself in a certain in place in life people you're surrounded by is like in the same shit as you mm-hmm. and uh, that like he owns his own business that's crazy like mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It's crazy how this shit came together. I'm gonna be a hundred. Yeah. Like, it came together like we didn't even try to put this shit together. I'm gonna be no. Real. I mean, you, make it, you make it sound like it's almost effortless. Did we try to put this together? Um, Only I feel was, like the most work we did was this. No bullshit. Yeah. The mo- you talking about the clothes? Hold on. The, the, yeah. clo- the you merchandise. Get yeah. the clothes. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, no, no. Let's so you talk. Wait. wait, 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 wait. What about the, the insurance? Hold on. What about the insurance? That's hard. That's hard. Wait, wait, wait. Start it. That is. That is. Start. Let me. Let me. Wait, 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 wait. Hang up the clothes. I'm not home. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look. This real. This real. This. This is. This is. This is. This is real. 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 Real shit. Okay. All right. Getting it together was the hustle of what it was going. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But what he was trying to say is once it's established, is it's established. It's where he was going. I don't want y'all to feel as though not. This took the time of what we had to, you know, yeah, what we needed to do to get done. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. okay. That took time. Took time. But it didn't take time. The kick and bust them gates open like a like a like a racehorse coming out them tracks. You know what Let's I'm saying? Go. Yeah. Let's this go. is set up every day. Uh, like, yeah, mm-hmm. Took no time. Okay. Like 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 it's important. Like you know what I mean in life to just have your vision on what it is and you go for that shit. And I tell everybody out here, I don't care what race you is, I don't care how old you are, I don't care where you from, what or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Chase your dreams, chase your success, and 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 be you. At the end of the day, man, that's what it's all about. Honestly. You got something in your mind that you say you want to do, go do it. I mean, you wake up and you say you don't want to do this and it's not beneficial for you, don't do it. Or it's but never you, too but late. you better have plan B. Right? <laughs> yeah. Got to. Real shit. Got to. I agree. Got to. You know what I'm saying? That's that's yeah. really on, on that part. So walk me through the 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 di- okay, let's go back to the discipline. Okay. What time did you wake up in the morning? What time you had to get this done? What time you had to plan for for the merchandise? What time you had to get the store running? Like, well, walk me through that process. Even better, like, how do you guys train your mindset? Uh, absolutely. Well, like, absolutely. How you, how you already that train. Point. That's the thing. Ten, ten, 10 years, 12 years in of the of the, of the the training of back on what, you know, cousin said for it. You know what I mean? Like, as far as with the discipline, I learned that literally 13 years ago. Because you have it, you don't have to do it. You understand what I'm saying to you? Mm-hmm. Because you need it at the end of the day, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta feel as though at the end of the day, you you gotta, no, at the end of the day in life, you know what you're doing, you know what you have, you don't have to show a hand, you don't have to broadcast, you don't do what you need to do to make sure that you are good at the end of the day, because guess who you fooling if you not? You. It's a fact. And I'll say also All like that shit don't matter. I'll say also like um just with the discipline alone, bro, like we come from a militant family for real. Mm-hmm. Like real militant, like seriously. So we was taught discipline as as children. You feel me? It's just as we became adults, we took it way more serious because we knew we had goals that we needed to That's be accomplished. That's a fact. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said, when he helped me what well, when he helped me at it was where I was lacking at. You feel what I'm saying? And I didn't know it. Mm-hmm. So I took heed. Like, I'm I'm not stubborn. I'm not none of that. Right. I'm going to talk my shit back to you regardless. Of course. But I'm going to take heed and I'm going to move correctly at the end of the day. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But, like, if somebody teaching me something, bro, I always keep my, my, my eyes open and my ears open and my mouth shut. Mm. And, I move, and, I move, and I move with a purpose at all times. So how does he balance you out? What, is, what does he help you with the, where you're lacking? Can you be more specific about yes, that? Vice yes, versa, yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie, we're a perfect duo because what I'm into, he not fully into, and what he into, I'm not fully into. So we bridge the gap like that. I don't wanna say everything that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it's just. So give an example. Like, it's like, like, like what are you into? For instance, mm-hmm. just off beat, just, be, just being a businessman in general. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, the insurance, all, you know, all this shit you gotta do to start a business. Cuz already got all that under control, but he's showing me the ropes as we go. So when 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 we do bust the gates open in another state, one of us might go out there now. One of us will. I don't gotta call. I don't gotta call. I don't gotta call. Like, I don't gotta call. Like, yo, yo, so I gotta stop. Speak your shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta. I don't gotta call. Like, yo, what do I gotta do? I already know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I was lacking at. Like, I didn't really know the business behind all this shit. I did. Okay. I just knew how to get it. <laughs> and so, so you know, and a lot of times it's not so much on not knowing. It's just at the end of the day, sometimes of not being too fully aware or really in that type of mindset to be even 
concerned about it. Some people in life may not be, mm -hmm. but it's a blessing once you are. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you see something and you know for a fact you got a vision, go with it. Mm -hmm. What you know is what you know is what you do. Okay. We only do what we know. We had a conversation the other day and I'm gonna make it clear. He said, bro, do you know that the average person on this world is trained to hate another person? Talk said, about it. Please yeah. talk about Elaborate. it. Elaborate. Let's, let's yeah. talk. Yes, yeah. please. I said, cuz, that's crazy. Come on. I said, I'm in the store. Come like, on. I'm going to bring this customer up. Give me a second. I rung him up. I said, yo, break that shit down. What you, what you mean by it? He said, because at the end of the day, that's the way it was put right after slavery. Before slavery, like when they, like, you know, so what's what's at the end of the day to even let it be known as far as where it is, where at the end of the day, and I'm never not enough to learn something though. I learn from this man. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He learned from me, I learned from him. They go both ways. I was always taught as long as I'm living to see another day, there's a chance that you're going to learn. So, mm -hmm. fuck. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah. So, how does, how does Mr. Splurge help you out? Like, how does he balance you? How out? does he balance you out? <laughs> In a lot of different ways. You understand what I'm saying? In the same way as he would speak on the same thing as I would. When it come down to knowing for a fact at the end of the day where you are to even to be a appreciative loyalty to know to say, hey, I appreciate you, cuz. That has helped with me because it makes me feel good to know that at least this man appreciate for what the fuck we doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Down to the clothes. Let's talk about it. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody tell you. My cousin do what it do from rapping to the clothes to this. He his own man. You understand what I'm saying? He he mm -hmm. know what his name that he created for himself to be. Mm -hmm. Mr. Splurge is who he is. Yeah. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. He brings a lot as, into this store. Mm -hmm. He's a good asset to this store. <laughs> okay. He's not only just a part of the store because he's a part of it. Well, okay, so when you said asset, walk me through that. Walk me through your business for that. When I say asset at the end of the day, for example, like with sneaker charge at the end of the day. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying to you? Yes. It's just the way of the flow of how everything come when you put everything together and it be united. That's what I mean by the asset. Mm -hmm. To take from what he have put out here for himself. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. To be known as who you are. From the dressing, as I said, to rapping. You know what I mean? We're going to give credit where it's due mm -hmm. of knowing of what it is when we stand on it. We love each other, though. We grew up together. We family at the end of the day. Yeah. Who always understood what was what that we was always able to feed off one another. So it sounds like you you know you know you know you able to know this for this. I know this. Let's put it together. So it sounds like what he gave to you is sort of the business acumen. What you gave to him was sort of the EQ, the emotional backing. The you know mindset. I mean? like, the like, mindset. Like he gave like he gave you the trust. Like this is my cousin, I know what he's about and he's he's passionate about this. And that sort exactly. of enabled the confidence. That's a good way that you put it. Right? That's a, that's, yeah. that's a, you hit it's, it right on the nose. Man. He like, gave that's me the exactly trust. That's exactly how it is. He gave me the trust, and we and he seen my vision, believed in it, and added his into it. Right. Then boom, Literally. that's what this came into. Literally. Exactly. So, so, so would I be accurate in assuming that he probably has a better fashion sense than you do when it comes to? Um, when it comes down to at the end of the day with that. Oh, uh, I'm on camera digging in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We all know that. You give credit where it's due. Yeah. At the end of the day. Just like he give the credit when it comes down. Cousin get fly. There's no question at the end of the day. Um it is is it is a blessing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. If, yo, if, you try to shop, you can walk around, bro. Hey. That's bro that got the sleep. I think that's bro that bought his daughter the joints. I believe that's. Oh, I guess I guess we can see you do your salesmanship in person though. This guy's nah, we nah, we could definitely oh, nah. see your salesmanship in person. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Told them they could start. Whatever yeah, customers like talking about, they want to come and they could come out. Hmm. I'm sorry, but the bread don't stop for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. That's the, big, the business still goes <laughs> on. Gotta make your money. Damn, we still live. We yeah, still live. For those that didn't, that, that, we I can't at see at us, 10 uh, there was a customer that, that wanted yeah. to come through and look for a specific hat. I don't know. Sunday to the Sunday. Okay. So you got some more like brothers than cousins. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More so. yeah. For sure, for sure. Family. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I say, for sure. I say 100%. That fast and fast. I, I stand on that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 
So what are some of the unique challenges you have to face? It's, it's good to know that you've had a different, a multi uh, business background, but what are the unique challenges that you face running a store versus running like an ambulance company? How is that the whole ambulance business? Like how, how that even started? Like, um, that was established about, I want to say about at least 11, 11, 11 to 12 years ago when I opened that up. Um, <clears throat> we, we're going to go from, it, it was a lot of what I had to do, you know what I mean? They did get where I needed to be, you know what I mean? And I had to do what I had to do at the end of the day, though. Okay. I'm assuming but, you started but, with, like, one van and... Yeah, literally. Like, before even that, man, you know what I mean? I had to I had to get to... Because, you know, a lot of people want to know, well, well, how did you get there to get to that, though? You know what I mean? To make a long story short, I had to do what I had to do to get to that one van. You understand what I'm saying? So and once yeah. I got to that one van at the end of the day, it was yeah. on from there. Mm. I had about at least up until, like, 10 at one point. 11, 12, something like that, maximum. You had a vision at the end yeah. of the day. So. Like I said, you take that one little step, and steps become bigger, man. That yeah. one van turned to 10. So, do you, so walk me through, um, and I don't, I don't, I don't the, the audience doesn't need to know your personal expenses. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 I understand. But, what, but what, walk me through the money process of this is how much you have to spend on this store, or this is how much you have to spend on the merch in order, like how much can you get profit in order to uh, be a successful entrepreneur? First thing first, we hustlers, Oof. and we come from that. It's a fact. So we gonna make it do what it do, regardless. Mm. I you, like that. You feel what I'm saying? I like yeah. that. That's a good answer. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna tell you the truth though. When we say hustling, we don't we don't necessarily always because people always think hustling is just hustle could be literally at the end of the day selling water. You doing what you gotta do yeah. to grind. That's what hustle means. Yeah. yeah. Grind. Yeah. That don't mean grind don't mean good or bad. It means grind. Mm hmm Hustle means hustle. You do have to do. But where we come from, right here in the city of North, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you understand what I'm saying? They don't understand just of not just a one thing of just hustling, just being, oh, I hear it's hustling. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's this. Oh, yeah, it's that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just hustling is all the way around the board. Okay. Okay. Um, well, my question is, did you guys ever hit, like, self-doubt for, like, I any, did. And how did you tackle that and get your, your mindset straight? He, I'm gonna let him speak on he, that though, because he, he said he did, and, this, and you understand what I'm saying? Like, look, like that's that's the 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 real of what we what we stand on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna let him. He gonna answer that for you. Okay. All right. So we probably was like two days from grand opening. My mom racing. I'm still at the job. The job. The job got me on some bullshit. Thinking wise, <laughs> he, be, hey, yo, he being dead ass serious. Yo, like it's funny yo, as hell. No funny shit. It. Yo, <laughs> it's yo. Hey, listen, listen, it's gonna be relatable. real with you. Listen, it's gonna be real. Shit. No funny shit. I called Cuz. I said, yo, we might have to push this grand opening date back. I don't think we ready. Mind you, did we even have any of this shit hung up yet? <laughs> we had nothing. We had nothing we had up two days before. That's a fact. No That's funny a fact. Shit. We had shit That's in a store. Fact. Wow. Because of the process of how it go of understanding the fact of what getting it done of what that's hustle. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We had hustled. You understand what I'm saying? Of getting everything done. We got this store together in a two month span. Two months. Two months. Mm. That's not bad. That's too no. A month. Month. Oh, that's even my bad. Shit. Wow. My fault. We got wow. this shit. A month. And when a did you month. open? We got a it. Month. We got it like two. Like the the black the. the Week and a half at it was like a week and a half of March left. We opened on April tenth. Of this year. Yeah. yeah this because year. we was in like I said before, we was in we was in we was in Tug of War with two other spots. Yeah. This just happened a lot. We wanted to know where we wanted to start the foundation <laughs> off. That's a fact. Yes. And, and I'm gonna tell you the truth though. We really grateful from the mercy and the pleasure of Allah of being servants to him at the end of the day. That Shout he, out to Mel. That that he put us here. Yeah, definitely. That he put us here. All right, so so you had your down spot two days from opening. What happens? I just call. I call cuz I'm honest. Like we see, this how we give it up. We be straight up with each other. Like we don't hold nothing back, cuz. I ain't feeling this shit. <laughs> we might have to push this shit back. Yeah, fast. He's like, cuz. He's like, cuz. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Bro, you doubt? What? You don't even know he was. How do you doubt yourself? Facts. I'm thinking. Well, I'm, Facts. I'm at my job, but I'm in the gym at the job. I'm like. I'm bugging the fuck out, man. And it was the job. It was That's the fact. job. Fuck with my mental. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. Real it was with just you, like, like for real, for real. Like, yeah, that, 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 that was the behind the scene conversation. I said, bro, 
What the fuck is you talking about? Literally, Facts. what are you no talking about? Shit. Nah, because we ain't got no clothes in here, because I'm trying to tell you, ain't not one clothes up. Got these clothes, all these racks up. What we going to have these strippers in here? Ain't no clothes in here. <laughs> yo, he's wilding. Next thing you know, yo, it's, this grand opening was on the 10th. We had on the 10th. The 8th, it was literally everything was in here but the clothes. Mm. So the whole two days. So it took two months of getting everything from the reconstructing and the 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 painting and the the adjustments and the you know laying everything out. But two days it took to, to get everything done from restocking on the back and everything else up front of what we had to do to make this That's you know fact. ready for the tenth. We made because my shit thing work. is in life at the end of the day is once it's up, it's stuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. we are mm-hmm. put mm-hmm. in the tenth. What I look like going back telling. Everybody, the whole world is waiting for this to pop. Oh, we're going to do it on the 10th. Or, I mean, the 12th, excuse me, or the 13th. No, mm. no, no. we doing that shit on the 10th. And alhamdulillah, we here. That's a fact. So the 10th opens. You remember your first customer. I mean, I, lo- I know a lot of entrepreneurs, when they have the he, first he, customer, he, they he, save the he, receipt. I was there 100%. He, he, he was ringing up everything. I was just basically, be real true. you know what I mean? Like, in my glory at the time. 10th came. Only people I remember... It's my mother, <laughs> his mother, Facts. my father, my Lord, little brother. That was it. No bullshit. Sister, the first customer. I, could, I, 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 I don't, don't even know the first customer. Was. Was. That shit was I'm crazy. I'm thankful for him all the way. But bro, by the time we was 30 minutes into the grand opening, we had a line outside the door. A line? Yeah. From the that's, counter to outside the door. That's a blessing. Man, that's man, a man, yeah. Yeah. Nah, we actually have. Nah. Why we put that on YouTube though? We Let's go. On YouTube, though. Let's right go. Nah, I gotta give you that. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate, appreciate you. Cash. Appreciate you. Cash. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Yo, that's crazy. Bro, like, <laughs> that's wild. Dude. Yeah. So I don't remember. I remember certain faces though, because people still from Grand Open to come today to this oh, day. Okay. Like yesterday, we just had a a customer just came for the first time a couple days, like two days ago. He shot me a DM and was just like, yo. Like yo, the experience in the showroom was the best that I like, and that shit, I don't know, that shit had me, that shit gave me butterflies, bro. Word. Cause it's like, bro, Word. came into our establishment, it was like, yo, this shit fire. Mind you, he was conservative when he came in here, but when he got home, he let it all out. He let it all out. Mm. He was Quiet, like, humble dude. You would have never knew for a fact. He ain't say a word. He left, went home, and expressed how he felt behind mm. that camera. Whoa. Wow. I was so, like, damn. Mm, so, so walk me through um, your customers, like, because um, now, I, now it comes to supporting. Um, I'm gonna start off with uh, not only just because y'all customers, though, but just for y'all to take the time out of y'all day. You know what I mean? We get 24 hours in a day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 365 mm-hmm. in a year. For you to stop by that one time out of the year is a blessing. We love y'all. And we appreciate it's y'all. A fact. <laughs> Like when we be posting that, we appreciate y'all on the page, taking mean. pictures. We really mean it. Yeah, we mean it. We really mean it. We mean it. No funny because, like we said, like without the without the supporters, we won't be here. From Sheedy mm-hmm. to D Wade, we love y'all. Facts. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sheedy is no a, pleasure. Uh, no pleasure. No pleasure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Was he a rapper? Or nah, he? he just like I mean, he's a he's just from around like he's if from you around the area. He's popular. Oh, okay. That's good, man. He's that guy, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. We have anybody like that in Jamaica? What? Like, um, we have a shit in Jamaica? Yeah. What's homeboy's name? Right. Shiggy. Oh, Shiggy. Shiggy. Oh, you mean Shiggy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shiggy. I have no yeah. idea. Similar to Shiggy. Shiggy. Okay. No idea. He's okay. right in the same zip code. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Shiggy on time now. Oh, okay. I went to school with Shiggy. So. Yeah, Shiggy. Yeah. 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 Somebody that's from the community at the end of the day that's just very known, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, and they, 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 they're not here to, to harm nobody. They, they, they basically literally walk in comedians. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's on the page. Everybody aware of who it is. They was all laughing, putting in comments or whatever. When he came in, we paid that man and we told him, we thank you for stopping at the store. We didn't look at it as a joke. That's what he do for his living at the end. That's a fact. Okay. Tell the audience your failures. Ooh, that's interesting. That you had that you had to go through in order to be successful. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I don't believe in failure. Like, you know what I mean? Talk about it. Fact. Talk Telling about the it. Truth. Like I'm being honest. Like, I'm not even about to sit up here and when you ask me that question, I always think before a question is asked to me. I don't believe in fellow. Being a honey with you though. Talk about, about it. Heart. That go back to when he just said, Yo, we're not ready, Tim. I don't there's no way in my life I believe in fellow at the end of the day. You fail yourself. So, mm-hmm. so you call them lessons, if anything. 
always a lesson. It's always as far, a as, far as a, 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 a adolescence that we had to learn, as far as coming into what we had to do, mm. is a no for a fact that time don't wait for nobody. Honestly, that's what I learned behind that though. That we was two days and them clothes wasn't up there. <laughs> time ain't waiting for nobody. The tip of be here, whether you're ready or not. <laughs> so, hey, uh, so, so we, up, so we calling them lessons instead of uh, so our words instead of saying. Uh, the word oh we say lessons we like, say oh, lessons uh, because the okay. reason the reason being that we call them lessons is because once once you once you make that once you give one mistake uh -huh. you have to learn from that hmm. and once something don't go the way we plan to, we plan it to go we gonna learn we gonna rethink yo what we do that we think ain't, we gonna go back to the drawing board and do it again in school you feel what I'm saying? So it's a lesson at the end of the day. It's never. I, I didn't even know how to answer that question. Like the failure question, I didn't know how to answer. I'll it's not even you. part of the entire vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's not wrong. That, that's that's not a good answer because, because it's, it's not an option. Yeah. It's not an option. Yeah. I, I, I love that answer we, though. We wake it's up. I'm gonna tell you the truth though. You want to know some real shit? He'll tell you though. He'll tell you the truth though. I'm one of them motherfuckers in school. Yeah, of course. I had fucked up grades in school. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was growing up. I had F's, D's, all this shit. I went to summer school. Yeah, all that shit. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All that shit. But I'm talking about when you become a man. A kid growing up, that's when you, 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 you might have a chance of regrouping from what we call felon. You understand what I'm saying? But going further in life, like, all that felon shit is out the way, though. Cause how many times you gonna fail? Mm. Plus we got it around. We got we got we got shit that we don't want. We got people that we know personally and love that we look at and be like, damn, I can never be like that. So why would we put ourselves in a position to 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 to, to 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 lose? Fuck, be like that to lose our character. Period. Literally. That's literally. not that's not us. That's not where we come from. We not built from that. Yeah, literally. You know what I'm saying. Ain't no ain't no felon. <clears throat> I had a couple F's on my report card. <laughs> Word up. So, so, but that stands for fantastic in my mind. I ain't gonna fuck. Word up. <laughs> so walk me through the timeline. Um, so you thought of the idea. It's in there. It's it, you're working on it. How did you market yourselves? Mm. How how do how do people oh, how do you get to the oh, point where that's, there's that's a line a good, walking ooh, around the block? Good. We were already. I feel like we were we were marketing. That's what I was about to say. We we walking billboards yeah, for, ourselves. for ourselves. For ourselves. Like. We don't want, I don't want to toot my horn or I don't want to toot his horn. But no, no funny shit. I give it about 93% of the people know what's up here. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm going to say it straight like that, bro. Facts. I'm going to be honest. We're, we're putting it honestly. And if, at, you don't, at, if they at don't know me, they know him. Fact. And yeah. if they don't know him, they know me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you didn't do us. any like Facebook, Instagram? You didn't do any All of that? Did, Instagram. I'm going to be 100. This is, exactly, this is exactly how everything came to fruition, right? Mm-hmm. Started in January. This is this is where it everything came from January. So January we be like, all right, cool, we about to do the store thing, da da da. So we had certain merchandise already. Now we posted the merchandise. I'm like, cuz, we got this shit, we might as well start selling this shit. Exactly. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He like, exactly. let's get it. Let's go. At that time we doing drop off. So yep. now we that we catering it. to the customers. We, we pulling up on you, da -da -da, yo, da -da -da, we taking care of people. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, oh nah, we all over the store, I'm coming down there. So uh, it's like, it, it went from us making gotcha. drop offs to everybody coming here. And it, it just merged right to the store. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we, we already, we both damn near know everybody out here. So it's like you guys did your charity work already. That's, that's, yeah. that's it, we, did the gra we did the groundwork. Literally. That's so exactly when you open, you weren't surprised to see that line. I'm gonna be 100, no. No? Wow. We was, a, we, Only was, thing, we, we was appreciative. We was very appreciative. Only thing, what made me call him that day and say, yo, bro, I don't know if we ready, is we had no fucking clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no okay. bullshit. Okay. We had, so no okay. bullshit. I'm behind it. Okay. No bullshit. We, 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 we had, had three clothes, we had not in the three boxes. We had three boxes. But in the back of the, of the, in the, back no of the thing. Like, because the thing is, we were so busy trying to get the store ready, he right. It wasn't no clothes hanging in the store. <laughs> he did not see the clothes, and he said, "Yo, there's no store <laughs> without these Think clothes." clothes yeah. He was ready for grand opening, but no we way. made that shit happen. And Word. definitely shout out to John too, because yeah, John, John got the shit shaking too. He got yeah. all them sneakers, and grand opening, and all mm, that. Definitely. So yeah, like definitely. Shit, man. We and just, uh, we do appreciate everybody who who definitely have. If you if you if you if you on live right now, you should feel. Great to see your clothes hanging in this store at the end of the day. Like, That's you understand what I'm saying, though? Mm -hmm. Great thing about it. Mm -hmm. I want to say, 
75 percent of the people the 75 percent of these clothes in here i know he know and they from the, they from the community literally no bullshit literally like that <laughs> No bullshit. Oh, I answered it already. <laughs> oh, I answered it oh, already. And plus, too, I could, you guys give up good vibes also, and people see all, that. All different. All different. Of course. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, for real. Yeah, no problem. There's a lot of different you know what's crazy? Of, uh, exclusive. A lot of people who see me and him be like, like yo, y'all yo, look yeah. like y'all angry. I'd be like, bro, we never angry. We just. Y'all focus. Yeah, 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 that's, that's it. all it is. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just a walking black man just doing what you got to do. That's all, man. That's it. That's all, man. Just. Not even trying to maintain. I'm trying to keep balling, baby. Yeah. <laughs> From Sam. Word. So talk to me about your style. Like, what, what are you guys going for with this store? Um, It's a franchise. You know what I mean? And the reason why when you say franchise, of course, is just as any other franchise that you see out here. Mm-hmm. Like McDonald's, Burger King, or anywhere yeah. else. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're already on our, to our second location, getting ready to get it going. Mm-hmm. Um, we know y'all going to be excited to everybody that's on live right now. That You know what I mean? That's a part of us what's going on. We appreciate y'all for tuning in or, uh, to 19B Showroom mm-hmm. Franchise. Uh, but we got uh, second location getting ready to, you know, maybe taking off soon. So I hope y'all ready for another grand opening, man. Definitely, mm-hmm. okay. definitely. Congratulations! Okay, yes. Thank you, man. Definitely. Definitely. Just keep the location secretive for now. Just keep big it. teams, big teams. Right, we're, gonna keep, we're, gonna keep, we're gonna keep that. Man. We're gonna keep the location secret. But uh-huh. you know, the next second location. Just knows uh, for but, all of us. But more specifically, what would you sort of classify this clothing apparel? Because I'm not a fashionista or anything. I wouldn't. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to call. It. So you mean like this is like California style, something yeah, like that? I really wouldn't yeah. know. Okay. This is this is what what we sell here. We just all we're doing is giving the people uh, not. I don't want to describe this because matter of fact, I'm about to get real fat. I'm about to break down this shit. Break right? that shit down. So man. I break that shit. This will be this. Down. This how we did it, right? I said, yo, we could get the high-end shit everybody <clears throat> like, that everybody seen on Instagram, mm-hmm. everybody wanna wear, but is everybody gonna be able to afford it? Exactly. So so now, we like, damn, I know people gonna come in here and want it, but they're gonna try, everybody ain't gonna have it. So what we gonna do, we gonna break, we gonna make the store affordable, but we still gonna make it exclusive with exclusive pieces, like exclusive brands like Siberia Hills, like A Kings. I mean, it don't cost a million dollars, but you're not gonna go to any other store and see this. See okay. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Even mm-hmm. this, even these pants, like the ones I got on right now. You not gonna go to no store and see can these I, pants. Can yes, yeah, you can look at them. Yeah, bust them open. Like you're not gonna go nowhere and see this stuff. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my man's yeah, these dad. Are fire. Yeah, these are kinda cool. Yeah, fire, fire. That's, they call it all. Tirador, Spanish means shooter. Tirador, yeah. Tirador, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Mean shooter? It means yeah. shooter. I'm gonna try to make a yeah. joke out of this one real quick. <laughs> I'm a sweatpants. What I do know is I'm a sweatpants guy. I don't like I don't like jeans. Unless I have to wear jeans, I'm usually going with sweatpants. Yeah. You know what I mean? So to see these are that's really interesting. <laughs> that's cool, man. And you like, how do you pick out your vendors? Do, do do they come to you or do you Let's, approach them? Like I said, man, I we 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 we, we, we know we we know everybody that's that damn near do this. Like I'm really into this. I'm really into the fashion shit. Mm-hmm. So anybody that's out here that make clothes, nine times out of ten I know. Them. Especially if they if they if they if they brand is like fire, I know. Them. You feel what I'm saying? So In good quality, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or or like even just being around. Doing the fashion shit, like I made connections with people that we could get the shit in here. Yeah. Like my man's and them from New York, like how we got these pants and just di- different things of that nature. Like mm-hmm. it's just, bro, like <laughs> <laughs> this shit just. F- I feel like no funny shit. This is what it was destined to be, bro. Yeah. 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 It's yes. like you try to cater to I mean, everybody. If it wasn't it? Wouldn't it be? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean, make a long story short, literally though. Okay. So, that's, so, that's, so, so, what's the purpose of uh? Uh, inspiration behind um, 19B showroom for your audience as I want to be just like 19B showroom what's the purpose like um, just your parents to, mm. your parents mm. yeah cause parents you know first people judge you off the way you look sure. and people treat you a certain way off the way you look mm-hmm. yeah. like you feel me just like for instance like I'm gonna give you a good I'm gonna give you a good example just the for instance you in traffic you in, you in the city, you pull up, um, you pull up next to a, a Rolls Royce, big body, but you in a Honda, 
You try to you try to get in the team not looking at you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I pull up in that GT AMG. He yo, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Word, I'm from that is so true. That's yo, so that's, true. Yo, it's it's yeah, it's, yo, but basically what we doing, bro? We just we we basically like true, right? that's we basically crazy. just like we trying to we trying to we trying to elevate without without giving too much information. We just uh, uh, come come get with us. You gonna learn some shit when you come in. You gonna see? You, you gonna learn some shit? You gonna like some shit? You feel me? You gonna leave with a smile on your face? So if I buy the apparel from here, what could I see myself doing? Can can I sit by that Rolls Royce? <laughs> <laughs> shit, that shit's all up to you. So the, the clothes is gonna make you feel better. You feel what I'm saying? It's gonna make you feel better. All right. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to know what Rolls Royce apparel looks like. You know what I mean? <laughs> it? Let me get in a Rolls Royce. I'm wearing sweatpants, brother. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Okay. Right, so, so walk me through the the marketing now. Like you get you getting more supporters, people that don't know you. That's like, oh, nineteen B showroom. Let me see what that's all about. Like, so is, is it social media? Um, is it um, um, word of mouth? Like, t walk me through the the, the marketing. Uh, me personally, I believe it's both. Mm -hmm. I believe it's both, word of mouth and social media. As you know, um. We don't know, like I said, we don't know everybody, but majority of the city. Oh, and a couple, of course, I say three, and the, and the, we get a lot of, uh, shout out to the foot traffic. Yeah, the foot traffic is crazy. Some people that don't know that just may walk by, oh, oh, oh I've oh, never seen this. Yep. Yeah. Do you yeah. get a lot of people out of state as well? We got a few people as of, as of like, I dealt with a couple, a uh, group of guys a couple days ago came here from Texas. It was like five, six of them. Okay. So, you know, like, sporadically they come in here. It's not there, but they all everybody that come from here from out of state. We get a lot of tourists. Do something. Yeah, we get a lot they, of they, 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 they support. You know, when I think of Newark, I don't think tourists. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm gonna tell you, hey, hey, don't say that. Wait, 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 Look, you heard? Okay. So you don't know about Branchbrook Park where them cherry blossoms go. Man, the Japanese and and everybody, Arabians, they come over here to you know what I mean. Like this is a tourist city, man. Really? Yeah. Right behind your back, a multi-billion trillion bit potential building, bro. You know where you at? That really? <laughs> like, they, see, this is new. See, this is new. see, see, the fucked up shit about my city is only the only the fucked up shit get out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying? Let's talk about true. some it's good true. shit though. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. that's you know what I mean fact. though? Like. You feel me? You had to think of the guy Shiggy from your neighborhood or whatever the case may be that you mentioned earlier, right? Like we rest in peace to to Oogie and 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 you know you got Sheedy D Dog. Like Nook is just a a, a a a literally a foundation city itself, though. That's a fuck. Not much money in this city, man. Mm. Talk to me about it, really. About it. <laughs> the city of Nook. Yeah. Downtown Nook. Mm. I'm gonna say it like this, bro. Nook bro. is culture. Nook is culture, bro. We had a Nook riot. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Nook is culture, bro. Like, for, for as long as I lived in Nook, and I can honestly say I was raised downtown Nook. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm from the South Water Nook, but my dad had the store down here. Mm -hmm. So as most of my childhood years, I spent downtown. So what I mean by culture is you become seasoned at an early age out here. You feel what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got, you got the slicksters. You going you gonna meet them when you first coming outside. You got the slicksters. Mm -hmm. You got the OGs. You got the niggas that's like you. You got the niggas that's trying to be like you. And you got the niggas that don't like you. So the way I looked at it, we was blessed. Like I said, we came from our pops is solidified out here. Yeah. So you feel me? And it's like we learned at an early age and the 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 the, the cultureness that we were embedded in, like that my father's store. When I tell you, bro, anybody that was big in our city came to my father's store, anybody, like Jim Jones, Kenny and Martin. What? Really? Wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's talk about it. Talk about Let's go. Yeah. Jewels. Well, fucking, I remember Isla Iris that came in there, bro. What they was coming in, what they was coming in, they was getting. They what, was what buying. Was, what they was selling. I, my father sold all fly shit. Like, the time period. That, what that we was, doing now it was with that time that back exactly, then. What he trying to say? Exactly the same. Makes sense. Shit. Okay. Like my pops come here damn near every day. 
So you guys are just a new generation. That's, that's all it is. That's basically that's all it is. How okay. do you guys talk to them to gain wisdom from what they've done? To this day, we still we still we still learn on 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 a lot of stuff that they yeah. give to his like he said, his father come every Does single day. Does he give day. you a point say, son, you should put the hats Hell here yeah. instead of there? Yo, and this is gonna be shirt, yeah. Yeah. and this is gonna be passed my, down my, to my, the my next generation. Us, though, like, you know what I mean? Like past problems, though. I'll go. Yeah. Up. To be yeah. to be to be happy that you know it's all about you know it's the process. You understand what I'm saying? It was a process of getting where where everybody got to go in life. But it's just the point of when you get processed. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And it's done. You know what I mean? To be able to say, wow, at least as a father, what I did rubbed off on my offspring and put it the way it needed to be. You understand I mean, what I'm saying? If though? I was a father, I would be immaculately like, just astounded at what you guys did to take what he did and just build on those footsteps. Yeah. He must be slack jawed. Man, sure. both our fathers are niggas. They ain't Whoa. nowhere around. <laughs> I don't well, sugar cold well, shit. That's crazy. Uh, about all that. that bite my tongue, nothing. You my guys that nigga. broke generational curse, basically. Right. You yeah. know, like this is gonna be forever now. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is what you two just said. That is the goal. That is the goal for generations. Yes. That is the goal for black people. Word. Do you know how long we have suffered? Do you know how long in America it has been for us to? Not eat, yo. I can go on and on about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. From from slavery till now. Yeah, for real. Point you guys said, said especially so, from black people. The point you guys said so national. Like yeah, you know. This <laughs> ours. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just like yo, well, shit. Like okay. Yo, but what's like that, that yeah, knowledge in the back of your minds? Do you guys feel immense pressure every day to? I don't know. Show up and stand out above the rest, or is that just that's gonna happen regardless, bro? So you don't so you don't feel that pressure in the back of your mind when you open up? I mean, it's natural. It's you know always what I mean, I mean, I mean when, when you do it, it's, it's there. Like you said, of course. But when you know for a fact, it's, it's not what you, you don't have to even sleep on it. You get what I'm saying to you, though? It's just, it's like, it's, like, it's, it's just a, a routine of, of life. Of this is not, we're not way. doing this because it's just, this is something that we've been doing and that, of course, what he been doing. You understand what I'm saying, though? Yeah. When you do something that you want to do at the end of the day, and you following your passion of what it is, that's what you want to do. There's no pressure when you follow I'm going to be 100. Passion. The simplest Shoot way me. I can put that's it. That's why people don't like working for somebody else. Because they're not following that real passion that they want to do. The best way to put it, it is not on us. This shit is in us, bro. Mm. The best way to put it, like, so when, when the pressure and all that shit, like, what you going, what you going to cry over the pressure? You think you think like when Floyd get in that ring, they get punched in his mouth. You think he gonna? Nah, I ain't yeah, crying. No. He gonna get back up. He gonna he gonna do what he do need what to do, do get that W. For real. For so real. that's what that's how we look at shit, bro. That's for real. That's how we look at for everything. Wow. So so what have you? What are some of the your most favorite clothing apparel to sell? You know. What do you um, guys want? Do you guys want to be known for a specific thing, or is no. it just a personal favorite no. that you like to sell? No. Because, like because it's everything. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we want to understand to, to, to be able to give back to everybody where there's no competition in this selling clothes. And there's no, at the end of the day, this is everybody clothes that's in this store is blessed to be here. Like, we are blessed to be here. So I don't look at it as this brand, maybe we want to make sure we sell this a little more than we sell that, or let's do this. You know what I mean? But the way what we gonna do is we wanna say we wanna shout out everybody and y'all know who y'all are, are part of the store. Yeah. So 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 far from 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 the uh the uh the ugly, shout out ugly, you know what I mean? Shout out trap art, shout out UNDX, shout out Prophet, shout out Saints and Sinners, shout out Theodore, shout out Glockstar. I mean, we could go all the way down the board on what it is that's in this store mm -hmm. of what's going on. Shout out all of the designer that's inside, like you know what I mean, from everything that we do. Fuck. Like we 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 will never wanna put it to be where you know, because then we stopped that at the end of the day. It was a lot in the city of Newark and in the Essex County area, in New Jersey area, of the competition of my brand. It's people to this day, people talking about you doing, nah, look, 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 look. You making your clothes, if it's fire, alhamdulillah, which is, thank God, and if it's, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do whatever you got to do at the end of the day. We not in no competition I look at, at it like all, this with now. no clothing. This is how I look at it now, right? We didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't new generation, right? So I say like the only way we're gonna break this curse is if we all come together, regardless of the competition factor or not, we all come together and we push what we trying to do forward. The niggas got a friendly competition after we get to where we trying to go. 
You feel what I'm saying? Because there's always going to be competition regardless. Yeah. Right. That's just uh, that's human nature. Right. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, like, I just, I just, me and him had this conversation all the time. It's just, I mean, we just trying to make this shit easier for everybody. So there's no, like, so, so when you take a look at your profits, you don't see customers gearing towards one thing over another. There's not a trend for of like course. for like more hats. Or, so so what so what are the, so what are those? Uh, apparel? I would say the like the I, I could name some famous brands that the store has that people come in here and, and look and actually look for. Uh, okay. You got like we got the, the uh, ugly, <clears throat> we got the trap art, we got your DX. Uh, what else we got in here that they be looking for? Like we make our own stack denim jeans and stuff like that. Oh, you guys uh, make it own? You make product, it product, 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 product. Yeah, we make it. We make our own clothes. Oh, wow. It's known out here. Told you we hustlers. We gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we gotta cover across the board. Uh, you know, in certain designer pieces we get here and there, but when we get that, it go like that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of stuff sell out. A lot of people come here late asking for stuff that's been here. <laughs> <laughs> And I be hating to oh, break the bad news. We said profit though, definitely. Yeah, profit. Of definitely. My little brother. My little brother, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so proud of my little brother, bro. Like wait, wait profit's a person. No, no profit is profit uh, is the name. That's the name is brand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little brother came in here, bro. Seriously. He 20 years old, bro. Mm -hmm. He in had college. all his shit together. Like, he came to me with all his shit together. Like, I ain't had to call him, yo, you missing the shirt, missing this. No. He had all his shit together. Grand opening day, his brand was the the most successful brand out of the whole day. Wow. Grand opening, his shit flew out of here. Shout out to my little brother, man. Mm. Word. So, so give give the people advice. How can they start their business? Yes. Um, I tell a lot of people though, it's not about money. It's not about the money. Go fix your fucking credit. Excuse my language to be talking like that. Go mm -hmm. fix Speak the truth. Oh, your yeah. fucking so credit. debit cards in the garbage, bro. Debit Go cards. Uh -uh. Fix your credit. Yeah. If you got all the money in the world, you're gonna be broke because you're gonna spend all of your money because you don't have no credit. Go it's liquid. get your credit. Exactly. You get your credit right. You do whatever you need to do from there. And you establish yourself the way you need to be. If you have credit, people will trust you to be able to open up your business and do what you need to get done. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as a loan, so as far as a the grant, so or whatever you need to get done. Cut up the debit cards. That's me personally. I'm not talking about debit cards. I'm sorry. So, so multiple streams of credit, uh, or it's like one credit card. No, enough. you do multiple streams of credit. You know, you gotta use the other people's money. <laughs> get to where you want to go and you just pay it off in increments. Mm -hmm. is, is it the bank's money or is it loaned or? It, like how how's that um how's that process going between like uh when you said other people's money? <clears throat> Me speaking of other people's money, meaning it's not my money coming out of my bank account or my mm -hmm. my seat or whatever my money. At, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So a credit card is basically shit is like a get out of jail free card. You just gotta know how to use it the correct way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can get way. anything I want. I like that. If I look, I like that. Shit. I got say you got one say you got one card that probably got a max of what well, most most first credit cards start at three hundred. Three hundred. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got first say you get your first credit card at three hundred. You do your thing, what you need to do. Three months later they up your shit to seven hundred. You feel me? Now you might go fill for another one. Now you got seven hundred on this card. They might give you a thousand. So now you got seventeen hundred. You probably only got seventeen hundred in your bank account. Yeah. But you feel what I'm saying? So you gonna have you? I feel like you will always you could be. You know how to use credit you could make more money using credit the proper way than investing your own bread because you could pay it back in increments i don't gotta if i spend 1700 this is just me saying i'm spending 1700 mm -hmm. you're only supposed to use 20 they say 30 but you're only supposed to use 20 percent of your 20 percent of your uh your, your balance well like i spent 1700 i could pay back shit 600 hours right and I'm still good for the next month. Then I'm just doing I'm just doing it all over again. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Then when I feel like, oh, it's time for me to I'ma drop the whole load. Mm -hmm. Now my shit then shot up about 150 points. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Credit limit increased. So now it's like all that money you spending by just spending liquid cash, you got all that on the tuck still. You spending right. it little by little. Right. Uh how much time we got left for you guys? How much time? Three forty. Three forty. Yeah, it's three forty. How much time do you guys? How have? much time we got left for you guys? 
Oh, the time? Guys, oh, wait, cause, oh, okay. Because we'll we, we respect time, you know what I'm saying? Right. So we just want to. Okay. Okay. So, 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 no, 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 I'm good. I'll take one. Water. <laughs> All right, I get one too. <laughs> All right, so um, now we 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 talk about credit, right? So now that that that's very important. What you just jumped about, like what you talked about, is credit. Alright, 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 alright. We just gonna wait. Alright, alright. It's back. To, okay, so credit. Talk about um. The line of credit because a lot of people. Shukra. Oh. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so, um, damn, now I lost. I'm I'm sorry about that. Shout out to that man right there too, man. Y'all see it. It's a good brother right there. Very good brother. So yeah, the line of credit. What you yeah. Mean? So so credit. When 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 you talk about credit, is is this the business credit or are you talking about the personal? Oh, credit? that's a good point. I'm gonna be a hundred. I'm gonna be real with you. If your personal shit ain't together, they ain't gonna give you no business credit. Okay. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So your personal gotta be together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. It took me two years to get a business account on my own LLC because I did some bullshit back in the day on mm. my credit. And I didn't know how much it, it affected me until I got older. And I said, damn, I'm never doing this again. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so there you go. That's lessons right there. Yeah, exactly. But that's not a failure. That's and you, you, exactly. you gravitated from that. Exactly. So, yeah. But I feel like I, I feel like it's not our fault. It's not. We're not taught this. Thank you. No, I just recorded no funny shit. I just recorded a song, bro, the other day. And I said this shit like, what I say? They never tell you that credit lit. I say they never tell you that they never teach us that credit lit. Uh, get rid of that debit shit. Mm. When mm. I say I said some shit around them lines, like they don't teach us about this shit. They mm -hmm. teach us about being in debt when it comes to credit. Come on. They don't teach us about oh you you, you utilize this that and third mm -hmm. and you could count it. Absolutely. You could go to the top. Yeah, I, mean, Absolutely. I, I can personally attest to that. I never really believed in credit. I always went by the philosophy: <clears throat> if I have it, I have it. If I don't, then I don't. And that's, that's why that's why I got my my credit or my my debit card. That's why I, I, that was, <laughs> I was always debit. You just, if, debit is just you still spending your own money. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So if I had it, you I knew I had it. Just not have it. <clears throat> Anywhere else besides being in the bank. That's all. Yeah. Right. That's so, what I'm so I got my first credit card in 2019. And just to improve my credit score, what I do now, every purchase I make, everything is on the credit card. And I just, you know, pay it off. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, 2019, it's, I was what, 27? That's what I'm saying. You know like, I mean? bro, I didn't, but you don't even feel bad because it was around the same time I learned about that shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to be 100% real, bro. This is something that's not taught in the urban community. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because think about it. When you a child and you see your mother with a credit card, she fussing about the fucking credit card bill. Yeah, yeah that's, you that's, that's my life. Yeah. <laughs> so it makes you be like, oh shit, credit card. Oh, I don't think you should get a credit card. It's yeah. never get a credit card and do this. It's always, oh, I don't think you should get a credit card because you're not going to be able to keep up with it. Yeah. It's never, oh, don't spend this much on your credit card. Spend this so you know you can pay that. It's never that. Like be realistic, and it's, yeah. and, and it's not. It's not their fault neither, because yeah. they wasn't taught to take. The, they wasn't taught that either, so it's not gonna be passed down. Yeah, that's yeah. why nowadays, bro. I feel like our generation is way more entrepreneurs out here because it's way more people spreading information. Yeah. Yes, you know what I'm saying, and we have the technology, yes. everything to Absolutely. do. Absolutely, what we yeah. call free game. You heard? Right. Basically, yes. That's Basically. A fact. Yeah. There's a lot of gems y'all just dropped. Yo, y'all a lot of gems y'all just blew dropped some today. people's minds to sound like, Facts. wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> what about this credit you talking about? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah that's... And, and you guys are <clears throat> LLC, right? Of course. Why, okay. why, why LLC? And there are so many different types of business. You always want to fall yourself under the liability where at the end of the day where you covered and We was talking about that on the show. So as far as what he said, we said it's locked in. Um... You want to always be insured at all times with, your, with, your, with anything as far as LLC, what you do. LLC is what makes sure that your LLC brand is secure. Mm. Whereas anything, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it don't directly be with you. It's, it separates yourself from you to a company. Is it, so the LLC or S Corp? LLC, no, no S Corp. No S Corp, S -Corp? okay. okay. Yeah, S Corp LLC. is usually like for in the medical field or okay. something pertaining to um, usually like, um, uh, ambulance, like any, like what I do, I have S Corp with that with LLC. Oh, you know okay. what I mean, but LLC, okay. as far as just as 
limited liability company is what it stands for. Oh, okay. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay. No, I, I was always, I always find that fascinating because, you know, I always see the different options. You've got your partnerships, your LLCs, your S-Corps. And everybody chooses LLC. I just never see the advantages of the other two. I was just hoping you, you could enlighten me on that. You know, like, if there, are, are, there, are there advantages to having a partnership over an LLC? Um, I want to say... <clears throat> Honestly, not really, because you could make a partnership in the LLC. Yeah, you could. Okay. But some people have done it on the question that you just asked. So I could say yes, but I would say the right way to do it is to make sure you put it in the LLC. Though. But I have heard of people doing it. So it's not necessary, but... See, that's the thing. I never have. I really never have, so... That's what I'm Okay. You guys? So, all right, um... How much time we got left? It is it's almost four. It's three forty-seven. Okay, so um, all right, so we got time. So nineteen B, five to ten years from now, where is it going? I'm Twenty probably, years from now, where is it going? My child will be in this shit. My child will <laughs> have one of these shit. My child will have one of these shit somewhere. Don't shit. That's good answer. You guys have it written down on paper somewhere, or is it just mentally you know where you want to go? I mean, right now it's it's mental, but once the once we the, the second location bus open, everything we, we we gonna make sure we put everything on paper so we could we could we could put Track the headlines on our shit. Okay, you know what I'm saying. But as of five years, bro, it's probably gonna be at least. Maybe five of these shit. Okay. Oh, maybe five. five. You mean like five stores? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you okay. guys are different areas. No, no, man, I can't even ask that because you guys keep things secret. Never mind. Uh, so. No, no. Mm hmm. Damn. Yeah. So. My question. It's just. Tarachi brand walked in. <laughs> <laughs> they all see y'all say. Y'all say hey to Tarachi brand. Oh. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Tara. Yes, yes. Oh, like that's a Taraji oh, for. That's oh, oh, yeah. oh, shucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Wayne Wade had stuff on earlier. Yeah. Oh, wow. Superstar. My yeah. My baby girl. It's my baby girl right there. Okay. <laughs> so, in terms of like, let's say, pretend you have a customer here. He's a novice. That novice is me. Because, again, I don't know anything about fashion. I'm, I'm, I'm going to you guys and I'm saying, hey, listen. I want to come out of here with women looking at me sideways, you know, like, give me a double tip. <laughs> yeah. How, how would you how, how would you help a customer like that out? Like, first question I'm asking you right now, I'm gonna ask you, is you gonna allow me to do what I need to do, or you gonna criticize my? Oh no, I'm gonna give you, give you my judgment. You feel me? I'll give you complete. Run. Because if you if you come in here ask to get styled, then we start picking stuff out. You be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, you might as well do it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no problem with that. We love, we love to help you. We love to help you. But let us help you. Let us help you. Yeah, that's cause, all. Because I, I have no fashion game. Like, I wouldn't even know what to pick out. You know what I mean? I, I, like, you feel me? Like, you already told us you like sweatpants. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure you cozy. But we'll make sure you got some drip to you, too. You're just not about to just be cozy. You're going to be a co gonna be cozy but drippy. You know cozy what I'm but drippy. Yeah. Can you elaborate on drippy? Like, what exactly does <laughs> drippy mean? We're drippy. Yo. Yeah, not we should do that line. I'm going to give it to you, man. Oh, so, drippy. Yeah, get him drippy right so, so drippy, right so now. drippy like, <laughs> drippy is basically a slang. I don't know if you're familiar with, like, diplomats and stuff like that. No, I, I know, I know what a diplomat is. We're going to have to make sure he cash out at 19 B today, man. We're going to have to get you world. We're going to have to get you right. Let's go. We're going to have to get you right. Let's go. 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 let us go you feel and what I'm saying? So, from there, uh, the goal would be to like have me come out drippy. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, explain what is dripping? Dripping is basically exactly what it is. Dripping like that shit. That shit hitting that floor on you. you they see that. you. They see you. Oh. But when the boy, clothes get dirty, boy, dripping. Nah, you you water. How water get dirty? No, cause you water said it's on the ground. Nah, we dripping, man. We don't get dirty. Nah. -uh. Uh-uh, 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 we don't roll around. I, I, I can't. Right. Right. I mean, I, I can't. That, uh, 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 that's Nairon for you. This is, is Nairon This is Nairon. This is Nairon 360. Hey, yo, shout out to Nairon. <laughs>
pretty much. Shout out to Naron. This man, every, he's not clean, but we every clean. You feel episode. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is every, every episode. That's cool. Every this, episode. That's cool. You so a we, whole no, character. We just got to get them together. That's all. <laughs> and I got the patience for it. You're about to pimp my ride like low key. Like, this is that's going to be you just now. Like, <laughs> is there such a thing as like a new work style? Right, wow. Like, ah, I can honestly say yes, it is. Um, so we all the same age. Uh huh. Yeah, so yeah. y'all familiar with like when Red Man and shit, yeah, Red Man yeah, all yeah, came uh-huh. out. Yeah, yeah. The army fatigue, camo, the Carhartt, the, the all that, like the military looking gay, like yeah. the grimy looking shit. That's, that's all newer. Nook, bro. That's all Nook. Then it just transitioned. Raekwon said it out his mouth. We got all our shit from Jersey niggas. But it, they just, like New York, y'all just got way more people. It's way more influence in New York. Yeah. The light is in New York. We just in the back. Yeah. No hate to my New York niggas, because I love them too. You feel me? I got a lot of I got a lot of brothers out there. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. it's just, we get overlooked for a lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we got our, we definitely, we definitely got our own style. It was a, so, it was, so, does, so does this store scream Newark fashion? Yeah, because everybody's from, that make that, is damn near from Newark. Majority, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you about to get your whole outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just always curious. You know, that's hey, yo, just you about to get your whole Listen. outfit today. You gonna get your whole outfit today? I'm a Converse kind of guy. I like my stuff. Ain't wrong with that. Yeah. Chucks are not wrong with Chucks. Ain't nothing wrong with Chucks, bro. Nothing wrong with Chucks. I'll be wearing Chucks. You know what I mean? So I'm a Chuck Taylor sweatpants, just a regular T-shirt, this kind of T-shirt kind of guy. This is it. That's cool. That's cool. Wow. Okay, so all right, so since not since Naron wanna bring this up, right? So let's talk about when someone talk about fashion. Um the trending fashion. Do y'all keep up with the fashion trends or y'all just keep it to Nah, this is what we gonna do, and um, we gonna we stay like thing. this. We okay. do our own thing, honestly. Like, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, we 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 are in tune, but we do our own thing. That's the that's the difference of being yourself. We do our own thing. I like that. You may put on these same pants, same shirt, same hat. I'm gonna wear it a different way. He gonna wear it a different way. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what make you who you, you are. are. Individuality. I mean, exactly. you know, nothing is new under the sun. It's just all about what you you're going to do with it. You feel yep. what I'm saying? Huh? Yep. That's all. Like, it's nothing new under the sun. It's all about how you going to do it, what you going to, what picture you going to paint with it. You feel what I'm saying? Because we damn near got the same canvas. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, all right. How you going, how you going to sign your name? How you going to sign your name? You going to sign your name like how he signs his name? That's all it be. Like, so, trendy fashion is like, uh, I mean, you got to think, bro. We in the, we're in an urban community too. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of trendy fashion is like the high end shit that's going on right now. Mm. And like a lot of people can't afford it. I mean, I'm looking at these Yeezys. I mean, Jesus, $300. I've never seen this sneaker. Yeah. Again, I'm a Chuck Taylor guy. So $65 is, is, you know, my, my ballpark. So the C300. So, I so do, do you know, Nairon, do you know how much Yeezys cost? Yeezys is apparently $300. No, 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 no. no. No, so that's actually a good ass price right yes, there. Yeah, for Yeezys, yeah, 2019, so you, baby, you got the good prices. <laughs> that's a really ah, good ah, price right that's a, there. So wait, wait so uh, come on now. Is, so what you're saying here at 19B, you can get a discount <laughs> for come for, on for these Yeezys? No discount. Uh, not wrong, not wrong. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> no dis. Don't come in here and listen to Nairon talk about. Him. He said this. No discount. I apologize for Nairon. <laughs> He did it. Nah, yeah, but he's no, kind of delusional. Certain, I'm just, I'm just messing around. It's just, certain, it's just certain joints. They like uh, certain yeah. other stores that do the resale after market value. They price them shits like four fifty, five hundred. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. And people buy those. Yeah, you got yes. So Like what I just said about, um, like the trendy fashion is more high end right now. You got people spending seventeen hundred dollars on sneakers. Yeah. Sneaker or sneakers? Yes. Sneak- a pair of shoes. <laughs> you know, there's people on, that's online where shoes, there's people that pay a thousand dollars for a pair of shoes. That's that's ridiculous. They may pay for each individual shoe a certain price. I mean, would you ever and sell a thousand dollar shoe here? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Hey, boy, boy, Why not? I, I can't imagine that selling though. Why not? Because it's a thousand dollars, man. Listen, Why man. Buy it? 
So why not? People, you got, yeah, like, like we said earlier, uh, parents. You got a thousand dollar pair of shoes on. I'm not saying this is why you do it. This is what you do it for. But you got a thousand dollar pair of shoes on. It's just certain, certain. You might not get it from everybody, but certain people gonna be like, oh, you know, everything is perception. Yo, bro. He got some shit 17. He got, he got something. He got that's this. like a Rolls Royce sneaker yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, that's. You wow. feel me? I mean, that's. So, uh, in this conversation, I've heard you guys mention a lot, a lot. Can you talk about how your religion has played a fundamental role in developing this business, if it, if it has at all? It's about making dua. It's about praying. Dua is <clears throat> prayer. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's praying, bro. Like what you ask a lot for, what you exactly. for what you for what you want, and being direct about it. That's what a lot of people like. When you pray, you got to be direct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say me, just be truthful. Just be yeah, truthful, like, yeah. like you feel me? Just don't don't try to beat around the bush while you talking to them, talking to the higher power. So so because he gonna give you a beat around the bush. He gonna give you what you he gonna beat around the bush with whatever you want. So, so a better question, I guess, would be: How has being a how has being a Muslim played a role in establishing 19B? Discipline, militant, everything's black. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's the the we 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 we. How can I put this? Islam is a way of life. Yeah, it's a way of life, and it's, it's the way it's the, it. it's, it's the way the way you think, the way you treat people, the way you eat, the way you supposed to pray, the way how you pray. The things that you do in your life every day, which make you different from everyone else. A Muslim is supposed to be stand out. You're supposed to be different. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to want to be as what they call the kufars and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be. You are supposed to set an example, which is the right way of life. And set this is what you think you've done with 19B. Set the tone. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So now that we got the 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 the. the the businesses, the, the business, the credit, and everything. Talk about the personal development and the mindset, the, the spiritual of a uh, 19B. <laughs> okay. It's about, it's, about, it's, about, it's about to get deep. I'll laugh, it's about I'll to get deep. I laugh, no fuck. I'm going to be 100. I laugh because in the matter of much, bro, I changed my whole life around, so. Mm. You feel me? Like, and personal development is just being in the store every day. I mean, your communication skills become better because you got to talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. So now, you just being outside, you just being in the world, it becomes easier for you. Because now you're not shadowed, you're not boxed off. You're going to speak to people. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, Mm -hmm. us as black men, being able to speak first to people, it already the guard is down, like, and we coming polite. We're not aggressive or anything like that. It already give us a. It, 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 <clears throat> this help. I'm not gonna lie. This helped me in a lot of ways of not being. How can I say it? What word I'm looking for, bro? What they call that shit? Impatient? No, no, no. What they call that when they uh uh stereotype? Okay, mm. okay, okay. You don't want to be boxing. You don't want to. It help. It it it. it it kind of like, because dealing with, you know, dealing with other races and stuff like that, they expect you to act and speak a certain way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Being here, we can't speak to everybody the same. Mm-hmm. We got to show, we, 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 this is a business at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You are a customer and we got to cater to you. Yeah, and your value uh, goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean? Like we get a lot of clients that come in and it just, they just tell us that they appreciate us. You know what I mean? And we let them know, look. Repost the page so we could I mean, add the page so we could you know repost you because we appreciate you as well. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? When we say we appreciate everybody, you know what I mean? And and, and I always say it over and over because we sincerely do. Yeah, we pop our shit. Yeah, we do what we do. Yeah, we have fun. We know what it is. But at the end of the day, the first thing that they're gonna say is, "Then people at 19 be really appreciated though, and we giving back." And anybody in a right state of mind, all you gotta do is respect that. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. What time? What time we got? Four. All right. Four I'm going to let um, 
Okay. I'm gonna let uh, my wife jump on Tara Tarachi brand. She's gonna get on so that way she can speak about her brand and how she established and got it going. Oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Well, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, oh, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations on being married. But y'all can continue, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. So, um, let's, uh, so as that, then um, we got some time. Okay. <clears throat> we got a little bit of time left. So, uh, any more any more questions? We oh, got. I always have questions. I got trippy questions. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So, trippy questions. So my last. All right. So we before we jump on. Um, before we jump on uh, to you talk about her business. Oh. Um. My last question for 19B is now when you talked about 10, 20 years, talk about more as like the generational curses. Like what was that mindset behind like, yo, listen, this is like the first time when you said it's time for me to break generational curses so that way my mom can eat. My family, my, my, my uncle can eat, my aunt can eat, my whole family can eat. That way, it's going to pass down to my kids and then to my other, and then to my grandkids. Talk about more is that, like, what was that mindset behind that? Bro, nobody don't give you shit. So when it's time, say it again. Nobody <laughs> nah, gonna give you shit. Hold on, yo. Nobody not gonna give you shit. Say that again. Nobody's gonna give you shit, bro. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So when an opportunity like this presents itself, if you slip up, bro, you might as well just say fuck life. I'm gonna be a hundred. You can't like like it's just certain opportunities that come around in in people's lives, and it's up to you to capitalize this shit and do something that that's gonna have a legacy behind it. Or fumble it. And like I said, bro, we come from a militant family. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if I if I fumble this shit right here, bro, you what? <laughs> bro, my mother get on my nerves now. I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> if I fumble this shit, my mother what? I think I'm a, what? That's a fact. Bro. And that's and that's that pressure. Fumble, fumble what? You don't feel that pressure? <laughs> It's no pressure. You got to remain cool at all times. That's how you move through. You got to be like water. Get in, get out. It's hard for me to fathom knowing that your mother would kick your, you know what. Bro, it's our whole life. But it's been like this our whole life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've been on our ass our whole life. You feel what I'm saying? I was just telling them how my mother, I said, we were just talking about like, they say, yo, we was like the generation. Fathers too, but ain't nothing like your mother on your ass. No, no, no. Nobody on that ass. (laughs) But like they was just they basically asked him like what was the what was the what was the process of like breaking the general the generational curse, you feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying like nobody don't give you shit. Yeah, you won't get shit. <laughs> Ain't nobody well, man. What's your thought process? What's what's talk about that? Um Nobody, like he said, he, you know what I mean? he, nobody won't give you shit out here. You understand what I'm saying? You won't get nothing. Though. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So the thing is with it, that's why it's important for you to grind hard and do what you know which is possible for what you know you need to do at the end of the day where you got to be able to achieve and get done what you got to get done on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it, it ain't no joke. It's not no joke out here, though. You understand what I'm saying? And I tell people every day that you you need to stand on what you believe in or what you need to do. Let's go. Yeah, That's let's the only go. thing, like, y'all have said what we would tell somebody mm-hmm. was starting a business. Bro, you got a vision? See it through, my boy. That's it. You got a vision, you got to see it through. Regardless of like the, the trials and tribulations, that shit going to come with anything that's good. Ain't nothing good coming easy. Right. So you feel me? All that complaining, oh, this shit hard, this shit, nah. Bro, everybody that just started something went through the same thing. But it's up to you. Like, you going to let that shit make you or you going to let that shit break you. You feel what I'm saying? So like, you want to start your own business? My advice is just, bro, do what you want to do. Stop talking about it and become an action taker. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people just talk, bro. Oh, I got this idea for this. I got this idea for that. Three months later, what happened? Nothing. Bro, nah, I start. Leave it at that. So, I know I had a last question, but when you said, I remember when you said you grind and you had your job. When you had your job and then you came here, and then you started grinding on your business mm-hmm. to come here. 
Now continue. Let's continue for continue what you said, but break down in details. How can people do that for working at nine to five and working on their business? Like how that schedule of their of like that grind. All right. So, like, you could talk about your experience. I'm gonna tell. You, that's exactly what I'm about to talk <laughs> about. So, look, I'm gonna be a hundred. I don't like following rules. Okay. I'm grown though. Okay. I'm grown. I gotta. I gotta support myself. I'm grown. I gotta yeah. support myself. I gotta get a job. I'm not looking at a job as a job. I'm looking at a job as a stepping stone. I'm gonna go here, run it up, and I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. What I'm gonna learn is structure. You know, a job teach you structure, bro. You on time, get a schedule, certain shit you gotta do, you feel what I'm saying? So it's like it give you a routine. It it just it gives you certain things that you need in everyday life to run a business. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I looked at a job as a stepping stone. I never let that shit get in my way, bro. Like I never let the job stop me from doing anything. I'm still going out and I go to work and I was doing overnight. So I go out, day party, fuck it. I'm going to work at night. Fuck it, I'll be tired, but I got to be at this day party. I got to get the, the face caught. Always got to be shown when it needs to be shown. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I, look, I looked at this job as a stepping stone, bro. And a lot of people don't look at it like that. A lot of people get lackadaisical in their job. Like, all right, I'm going to live from check to check. I know I'm going to make this and pay this. Nah, I didn't live from check to check, bro. That's not living. That's fucking struggling. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's like. My whole shit was, it's time to level up. That was my whole mental. It's time to level up. And I was just trying to figure out what the hell I'm, what the hell I could do to level up. Yeah, I make music pretty good at it. Feel me? I got a fan base, but no music. That shit come with a lot. I need something that I can build by building it, not having to build the shit on the internet. I could build the shit physically with my people around here, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I wanna say, everybody might, everybody know me in the city of North for being fly. I've been doing this shit my whole life, bro. So it was just, it was just easy to be like, I'm gonna take this and take that. Cause I was already selling clothes, I'm already selling sneakers, selling hats, whatever it is. Shit, let's just blow, let's just, whatever the little bit I'm doing, we going. Fucking ten times that we are gonna put it under a roof though. Mm. That's what it is. Okay. The job is a stepping stone, bro. And is that why you chose Newark? Because you were familiar with I'm back. the air. I apologize, y'all. Yeah, of course. All <laughs> good. It's all good. Yeah, yo, all good. <laughs> but is that why you choose chose Newark? Because of the familiarity? Because you knew the area? You knew what would sell? I mean, you knew where to put your store? We chose Newark because we know there's nothing else like this in Newark. There's no other stores like this in North right now. You feel what I'm saying? We we have a variety of things. Mm-hmm. And that's that's flop. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, that's why we put it in North. And we wanted to give back to our people where we was from. Like we said, downtown, like as kids, we, we was running around and shit like, like chickens with our heads cut off as kids, bro. <laughs> so you feel me? Okay. It just made the most sense. And how do you deal with the on? I don't know if there are, but the on swing competitors that are eventually going to be abound because of the industry that you're in. Like, oh. how do you plan on tackling that, bro? The elite don't compete. You feel what I'm saying? Ooh. Now, I don't. don't I compete. tell them all the time. I'm not. I don't care about what other people doing. Maybe you should put that on a shirt. Either. I already got that look. I, I, <laughs> of course you do. The elite don't compete. The elite don't compete. We don't care about what nobody else. You feel what I'm saying? No. Tell them that shit all the time, like, bro, so what? Let them go. Mm-hmm. Do your thing. Because you guys are good at that. Nine right? times out of ten, they're going to copy from us anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, Introduce to Rachi. But before, so before we get into that, any final thoughts? Any final thoughts before she before she jump in? Uh-huh. Any final thoughts y'all got to say before she jump in? Mm-hmm. Come on. T- say that again. Say what you said. <laughs> I, no, no, I, no, I was saying... <laughs> Um, cause we we into our last question. What is your final thoughts for the people, and what is your social media um, before she jump in and talk about her business? Um, 
the thought for the people is is just to make sure that at the end of the day that they what they what they see on Instagram when you walk in here or you go onto that website that will become we apologize y'all we working on that website that's going to be that's getting ready to be up this in effect sure. it's going to be here we just waiting for our fall pieces from 19B that's going to be arriving to hit the website that's okay. the only thing we waiting on let's go but um the thoughts is is just to know for a fact that there's no gimmick there's no perpetration what you see on social media is what we giving to you every day you understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying to you? There's no allusion to this business at all. All right? I'm going to definitely uh, introduce my wife, who's Tara, and uh, she came up with her own brand before. You know what I mean? We was even together. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And, you know, we're going to okay. give it to you on with it. She has her own brand, and she been going literally, she been going crazy on her brand. I'm not even going to lie to you, though. Mm. She been making sure that these ladies out here is fly and doing what they got to do. You understand what I'm saying to you, though? And that's a fact. <coughs> So, um, I'm going to definitely turn the mic over to her <laughs> So she could definitely do what she does Well first congratulations oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. Congratulations yeah. Yeah. Absolutely both yeah, but, but, No seriously yeah. Both of y'all congratulations yeah. Yes Hey well my name is Tara um, I started this brand maybe about 2-3 years ago Talk to you yeah. Oh, I gotta be like direct. You can hear me now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I started my brand maybe two, three years ago. It's just to make people feel good. I like to feel good and look good. So that's really it. I'm here to just to introduce myself. Um, and my baby do well at it. <laughs> and, and that's it. <laughs> okay. and that's about it. So, so do you have any anybody that inspires you to create this type of work? Like, who are some of the inspirations behind your work? Honestly, I don't have. I don't follow anybody type of sense of style i have my own style i'm very like very very like i don't like a lot of things i'm very simple so Mm -hmm. these are really for people that's just like you know plain like me but still like to look good like more my type is more preppy but i'm trying to open up for you know all types of styles yeah talk about your purpose what was your purpose behind your brand um my purpose meaning as far as like my name and or like why Um, yes so Tarachi, my first name is Tara, and okay. then I had this friend from the Philippines, and she was telling me like, I when I was coming up with the brand, she was like, um, we were just looking up names, and I said my name have to be in it, and the cheap part came for um, basically good energy, and we just put Tarachi together, and I just loved it. I stuck with it. A lot of people didn't like it, but when I like what I like, that's just what it is. I loved it. So yeah, that's, that's, that's and that's definitely what matters. Yeah, definitely, exactly. So. Um, yeah, that's that's really it, though. So, so you started, so you had an idea to start a clothing brand. And did you already have skills in it, or did you just have to learn from scratch? How did you do? How did you um, pull that off? I wouldn't say I didn't start from scratch. I definitely started with vendors first, and then I was like, I want to do my own that nobody else has. Mm-hmm. So that's how I came about it. Like, I just didn't want to sell what everybody had. Yeah. So you wanted to be different. Definitely. Okay. It's only one Sarachi, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> nice. That's definitely. But I was just here to introduce myself. I let. You this guys got over. a king and queen shit going. On. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and that's and yeah. That, and that's what say, I'm say that one more time again, though. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a king and queen shit happening in here. Exactly, Wakanda and, forever. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And, that, exactly. and that's and that's what it's supposed to be. Exactly. Yes. That's exactly. what it's supposed to be. That, exactly. That's you and guys. That, honestly, yes. you guys need a good example. Yes. That you guys show, especially our community, that anything's possible. Mm-hmm. You Absolutely. Put your mind to it and just do the work. Yeah. Like one day you just thought about yeah, you know, I'm gonna put my name on yeah, some shit, and you know, like you had it in your name. Company. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the same for the uh, thing is, uh, and then a lot of people have pieces that everybody has. I don't like to work with everybody. Has. Like even I have, I like my little designer stuff, yes, but it's still not what everybody has. It has to be that. completely different. I'm the same way. Yeah, it just I don't want to wear what you have on. I be the only grown ass man you see me walking outside with a Pikachu shirt, and I get. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, are you too old for it? I said, fuck you. Exactly. I like Pikachu. I'm like, Pikachu. I'm like Donald Duck. Like, who? Like, That's you know, your style. Be who you are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what I find most inspiring about the three of you is that you guys just had an idea and instead of just contemplating and sitting on it, you just took action, you know? You know, you, you, you saw what your cousin was talented in, you trusted him, you loved him, and you said, all right, you thought of the idea, the idea in January of this year in the middle of a pandemic, and here we are in July. The best way with a story. I'm gonna be honest with you though, we're gonna talk on facts though. 
the before everything of what went on though, when uh excuse me, this phone be going off, baby. But um what basically actually made me say, okay, me being an entrepreneur, you know what I mean, and doing what I need to do, she had a clothing going on, her own brand. All right, because it was established before he before even yeah. right. once we got together, I said, I wanna invest into my lady. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And that's how that all came. Everything all worked into one, if you understand what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't it wasn't like it was basically something that it made sense. You understand what I'm saying? Remember when we spoke on before earlier when y'all asked me the question, I said, if it don't make sense, it don't make dollars, it gotta Absolutely. make some type of a sense. Absolutely. Yeah. It did. It mm -hmm. made sense. In the connection of the establishment what took place of us being here for night TV show. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's beautiful. It is. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Well, um, again, congrats on that. Nah, I that's definitely it congratulations. <laughs> like, for for um, what do you see your business in five to ten or twenty years? Oh, I'm gonna have my own store. <laughs> definitely, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have a few. I'm gonna have a lot because <laughs> I even have my own makeup. I have a lot more things that I'm working oh, on. You also all do FDA I keep that over there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. my this own. is yours too. Mm -hmm. That's all my stuff. Can, can I can I take a look? Of course. Oh. And even manage like a foam wash as well. You about to duck everything over. Nah, don't worry about it. You know Paula looking like you better buy me a piece. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is a facial primer? It's um, primer? Yeah. But primer is before you put on makeup, basically. All right, for right. men, it's right up here. It's only one left to tea oh, tree. So well. Of yeah. course. Yeah. It was awesome. for all people, but that's what men would wear, uh, not okay. the primer. That's what makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I just love that you guys did this whole thing independently. This is right? beautiful. Mm -hmm. Listen. Black love, black business, black dollars. <laughs> yeah. Black love, right? black dollars. Let's go. You just had a Shakespeare okay. moment, didn't you? <laughs> 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 just so, um, um, your f so talk about, um, so I feel like I'm about to ask you the same questions I'm gonna ask. No, 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 you're supposed to though. So the thing is, she was late to the podcast. Right? <laughs> That's what the fuck happened, you know what I mean? <laughs> but we won't leave that there though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. But nah, I want y'all to, you know what I mean? Because she, okay. she was late, she had things she had to do today. So, okay. You know, okay. No problem, okay. no problem. No problem. What, what time do we have? Makes sense. Right. Uh, 14. What time? 4.18. 4 18. 18. All right. So we can go we can until about like 5 o'clock. Can you? We can do 5 o'clock? Just ask the questions. 4.45? All right. Okay. <laughs> so. I'll make it quick. All right. So I'll don't make it quick. Don't, don't sure. good, we great. All right. I just worry about y'all dime. You know what I'm saying? All right. So um, walk me through your thoughts. It all, Of course, we all started with a thought, idea. Walk me through that process. All right, so my thoughts of how I started everything. everything. It was originally yeah. just makeup, because my family has a couple warehouses that do com cosmetics. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm always into that. Like, I just love, I like to look pretty. That's it. That's mm -hmm. my main goal. Then I was just like, it has to be bigger than that. It can't just be makeup, because honestly, it's my, I, look, I wear makeup, but I don't know how to do it. It's just that my family was already into it. That's what they're known for. Then I was like, what do I want to do? And that's how I came about, just clothes, like... Who doesn't love clothes? Everybody loves clothes. I like so clothes. literally, yes. so that's yes. that's my thought of it. And hopefully, in a few years, I'll have a couple of my own stores, mixtures with 19B. And you know, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't even be in a store. D Wade, yes. Wade. I don't know if I'm saying oh, right. It right. I saw he also has on my top as well. It's unisex. Oh, that so is. <laughs> cool, a man. lot took place. So it's just really <laughs> grateful. And Hopefully it gets bigger. That's all. Blessings are blessings. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how yes. does it feel to see D Wade have on oh your my shirt? God. I said, I, I was like, babe, no way, no way. Uh, I she she at asked it. me the night before. She said, did you show you get it, Tara? Yes, I got it to him. She like, you sure? You know what I'm saying? I said, I got it to him. I gave it to the man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. You know, not too many people could be actually able to walk up and be like, look, hun, D Wade, this is my wife shit. You know what I mean? I'm right. Sure, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Right. I'm gonna be honest with you though. I kept saying it was for his wife, you feel me? But 
He ended up wearing it. You know what I mean? But we gave him some other stuff. Guys, today they was like, I'm coming by to get the top. It is though, like, okay, but he, he did what it's he like, did though. You nah, know what I mean? Don't need this. I, I'm gonna wear this. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna yeah, wear yeah, this. I'm gonna put ice cream all over it too. He <laughs> fucked it up with ice cream all over it. Ice cream is all over it. Supposed to be a part of the little. The look he was going for, so. okay. did, did that affect Listen. sales at all or notoriety or a, a lot of people was still writing me till now like and i just changed my number so people were like why are you not answering the phone like people are thinking i'm back in phone I'm like, uh. i just changed my number like two days ago <laughs> <laughs> but i was excited this morning when i was like no no way like no way and then he was mm. like what i gave him the phone and then he just was like oh like it must have been a surreal moment yeah yeah before, that's cool his wife but yeah, yeah. that's a just, cool moment there yeah yeah Today, today, today has been a pleasure with y'all, man. Absolutely, Love same here, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, it's a fact. I must say, and I appreciate y'all for having us. Mm -hmm. you know what of I mean? do, do we have time for a couple more questions? Cause yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm, all right, so. I'm, but, so, I'm pretty I'm, simple I'm, I'm, with I'm my questions. So, so <laughs> all right, so y'all can ask y'all questions. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let my guys, um, ask, um, the questions, and then. Just give your final thoughts and your social media. Okay, cool. So, um, Moo, the same the same relationship you've had with your uh, cousin. How do you how do you guys balance love and your relationship with your clothing line and the store? How does that how does that all blend together? Um, the blend of it was honestly from the beginning. Like I was bringing it back to the like you know I like the, my parents. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to make sure wherever I go, like I'm a neat person at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Though she's a neat woman. At the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I like nice things. She like nice things. So that's the connection of, you know, of even drawing the eyesight into even wanting to, you know, you know, figure out who this person is. Then it goes down into the character traits and and, and personality and, 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 and So does it solid. clash? Does it clash? I mean, do you guys ever have conflicts like I feel like every couple do. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's one of those but that when like, it's like yeah, business it and love at the same time it's just like yeah that's you, what i'm saying how do you guys resolve those business issues like let's um, say your your clothing line i see it's at the front but let's say you wanted it on the right hand side versus the left well i try oh, to like as far well you know you know business personal and social you try not to never mix them three up in life you know what i'm saying right. for real for real so what it is is mainly like if 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 i'm on her about something else at the end of the day I'm gonna wait till you know we get home, or it's, it's you know what I mean. Like you don't you don't mix business in with with personal, and you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This is a business, you know what I mean. We got clients that may walk in, so if it's a misunderstanding that we got, we gonna worry about that later, though. You so know what I mean. Guys Even are though able to compartmentalize, like let's say you had a discrepancy in the store, you can leave it at the store, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, not have yeah. that because you, you don't want to mix up business, personal, social. You don't want you don't yeah, want, you don't want to do worst that, things, Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the worst things in life you could do. Though, like I said, I wait to it until it's that right time. You know what I'm saying? Or okay. you know what I mean? We go out. We sit down and we eat, and I'm gonna tell you about how I feel and where you went wrong and what you could have corrected, what I could have corrected. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To actually it's make it. It's also knowing where you go wrong as well, Co and communication is also mm -hmm. very, 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 very big. Because one little thing could just offset it, and I could feel some type of way, he could feel some type of way. It's just all about like compromising. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. but the main thing is, is that you know, for the most part, like she said, she said, I appreciate him, though. Da 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 da. I appreciate you as well, um, definitely. But it's to know that you are appreciated. Yeah. Like what you just heard, what my cousin just said before he entered out and was finished. What he said, though, mm -hmm. how he appreciated. You understand what I'm saying to yeah. you? How she's saying she appreciated. I appreciate y'all to be able to appreciate me. Did that make sense? Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm yes. making sense. Yeah. Uh, like yeah. Absolutely. You yes. are ready. Yes. <laughs> yes. You drop but, a boss. Yeah. 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 That's boss yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's boss. Yeah. All right. My last question, because mm -hmm. I see we're short on time. So I just learned about Drippy today. Is there any sort of like <laughs> new word? Let me go. No. Wait. You had to get the dress right. No. He said he just learned about Drippy just now. So you had to tell him about what Drippy is. Let me go. Is. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. Oh, yo. No, is there any other sort of like new work? Fashion slang I should know nah, drippy, of. Drippy, drippy, drippy is honestly all over the world right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. Though. Um, but like, what else? Shout out, shout out to my drippy. little cousins too, little drippy gang, man. DFN, man. Uh, you know what I mean? My little cousins and them. They actually started a, a little. Um, they own little rap crew. Okay. okay. Called Drippy Gang. You know what I mean? Like drippy they gang. wanted to be fly. They want to do what they doing. They out here rapping every day. Shout out to y'all too, man, because y'all doing y'all thing. But um, drippy is just it's, it's it's a new word for what they used to call 
uh, flee or fly back mm-hmm. in the day. It's just it's just a new slang word or I'm what they slowly say learning swag those, and all those that. terms too. You know? You're slow. It's all right. I'm not <laughs> the only one. You know? And by your on social media nowadays. So what you may not know in a little new slang mm-hmm. right now though, you're gonna pretty well, sure. Eventually you're gonna catch it. Anything nowadays with the way the social media is, social media is gonna keep you up on a lot of the 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 the, the, the little stuff that you oh, may yeah. not know already or the stuff that you do know when you put your own little sauce into it. But is there anything unique to Newark? Like if I'm walking out of this oh, yeah. store. Unique so, so, to Newark? So, yeah, that's is, what I'm saying. It's Newark, honestly. You know what I mean? You ain't never been nowhere until you've been to Newark. And I'm going to be honest with you, though, because and the reason why I said, like I told you about the cherry blossoms and down here, how they are uh, fixing up the whole downtown area. Uh, Newark has a, a, a beautiful name behind itself. You know what I'm saying? Where um, Malcolm X Shabazz came through here. You know what I mean? Kanye West used to live in the city. And Newark. Newark has a lot of value to it. Yeah. 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 Gabrielle Union was just down here the other day. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Queen Latif, she shoot her movies down here left mm. and right. Mm. Before 19 the establishment. Let's be honest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The movie Batman was shot down here every time. Mm. You know why? You know why? Because at the end of the day, in the city of New York, there's so much traffic, they don't mind to say, hey, let me just drop it off in Jersey where it's easier to cut it off and get it done. Mm. Am I lying or what, though? It's true. Huh? It's Let's go. True. That's true. So. You know what I mean? Is Nork, Nork has a, a a a good 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 background on what it is. Like I said, it's just so overwhelmed with people. Just what you what you want to learn. I think what I tell people, what you want to learn is what you gonna get. You wanna you wanna know some hood shit. You wanna know some negative shit. Here you go. You wanna know some positive shit. Is out here. Mm. It's what you make this shit out of. You understand what I'm saying though? For real, for real. Let's go. Seriously though. Let's go. Like no cap, <laughs> no kizzy. <laughs> like. For real. <laughs> Word up, but it's just man, no man. I love my city, man. Like, like I really, really, really love my city. At the end of the day, wouldn't live anywhere else. Of course, I mean, I don't live in the city. We ain't gonna get in all that. Oh, okay. but, oh. but, but I still love my city. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Definitely. All right. Got a property in the city, but I'm currently not in the city though. If you know what I mean. You know okay, what I mean yeah, though. Yeah. But you nah. know, but but I love my city though, man. That's why I had to make sure that I get back though, honestly. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Final thoughts in social media. Yes, where we can find you guys at. Um, Tarachi she can tell brand. Tarachi underscore brand. And that's on every platform, like that. Huh? Is that on every platform? Mm-hmm. Tarachi. Okay. So on Facebook, okay. Tarachi underscore. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Instagram and all that stuff. Okay. We always be posting everything. We, you know, we well connected on it. She has a. Um, Instagram as well too. Okay. And her own, you know, it's just separate from this. Her own brand page. I didn't okay. see the Facebook though, so it's only Instagram. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a Twitter? Um, no Twitter. No, no Twitter. Um, Not yet. Twitter, uh, more so, um, is like, uh, to me, I, I would say, kind of like slowly, you know, kind of faded in this in the social media. Yeah. That's kind of true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, Instagram like Snapchat, is more of you know this. I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. And everybody's yeah. using TikTok now. I don't even know yeah, how to do it. I, I gotta learn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll try to figure it out. I don't think Instagram going to That's like the new vibe for kids. So. I, think, yeah. I, think, I think Instagram here to stay. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this make me feel so old. Like, everybody's like, what's your TikTok? I'm like, I just find right. out you can shop by Instagram. That's Shopify. Um, Shopify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They know about yeah. it. Like, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 That's what we It's a lot to learn. On our, uh, <laughs> on our website, that's what it's always going to be on channel. Oh, okay. okay. You just hit that picture, you push it up. You know, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Send that bread in. <laughs> Instagram right now, is, right now, as far as social media, I think it's the best Number platform. One. Yeah. It's like the new Facebook at this point. Mm-hmm. Basically. Which Facebook yeah. already owns? Right. Yes, right. <laughs> I just found that Facts. out maybe a week yeah. ago. Yeah. And they're on WhatsApp also. So. Yeah. 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 Yes. You said WhatsApp? Yeah. Yeah. They own yeah. WhatsApp too. Oh, wow. Yeah, they WhatsApp is still going. still going. They got money. Yeah, wow. WhatsApp is still going. Yeah, but yeah. Facebook owns all that though. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, mm. so in terms of final thoughts, like, um, like a lasting message, something you might want to leave our audience with. Do you guys have any of that? Oh, okay. Um, prosper, prosper, prosper. Mm, I like that word of the day. Oh, you don't. Know. <laughs> Word up the day. Let's, let's go on prosper, y'all. All right. Like one word. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, that's so, it? Yeah. You okay. want to no, that's, that's, that's it? That's it? It's one of the day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Splurge is going to come back in so you can. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Yo, yo, that's what it is, y'all. DC Incentives Listen. Podcast, episode 27. You already know what it is. Hey, hold on. Before we go, next episode, we see Nairon. He's going to be drippy. <laughs> He's gonna be all the yo, drip. He's gonna be well all drippy. Pool. You might as well call me the yeah. pool. I'm gonna be so drippy. Yo, Nairo gonna be drip. He's gonna be. Hey, you know I can't say that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Never mind. He's gonna be dripped out. Yo, you know when Cardi B be like came through dripping, drip, drip. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring umbrella and rain boots. No, you don't get what? it because it's dripping. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we got it. We, we got it. We got it. Okay. Okay. I think I think I think I think we I think that all right so that's about it folks um they just gonna um give the final thoughts and then after that um that's pretty much oh they coming in they coming in they coming in okay final message all right that's the fi- final message and then after that all right now after that we gonna we can't get leave uh, hearing Deep? your last word absolutely man. miles right here so final words from Mr. Splurge. Yeah, we had 130 niggas in the yeah. line. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. go. Okay, he got numbers. Okay. okay let's go. I don't know what to do with us. I don't know nothing about it. You know me and you're in the same boat. I'm like the <laughs> oldest, youngest person you ever met. Oh, my shit froze. Did you shit me right now? The whole time? The whole nah. time? No, no, no. Oh, just now? Yeah. Oh. Oh I'm about to say for a second, like what? I'm like a Xavier, you hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hit the end, and then they had to do whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what. I don't know nothing. Damn. What happened? You didn't get nothing. <laughs> Might be. Nah, the live was the live was dead. How many people saw the live? I probably don't got the live. Oh, the video. <laughs> oh, the video. The it. video. The video. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, cool. I mean, yo, whoever's watching, they could clip it. It's cool. Absolutely. All right. We'll <laughs> talk to us uh, before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. Yeah. So the final thoughts are usually just a final message that. You it's know, like the, the people yes. want yeah. right to hear. This is right now. This is the after show. After show. Oh yeah. After yeah. Show. We, could, we could goof around. All right. <laughs> yeah. We do gotta take B roll after this. Yes. So, uh, the store outside. Everything. I yep. really did not realize that it said Black Lives Matter on that street. Yes. <laughs> I see the A on the street. That's all I see. That's mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, I was just so focused to come in here, get a snack, and set up. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. So, so what are your final thoughts? Oh, I mean, I'm on what exactly? Your final message Anything. to the audience. Anything you want to leave behind? Your cousin said uh, prosper. Prosper. So. Yeah, your cousin said prosper. It's gonna be two word of the days. You can do anything you put your mind and your time to. That simple. That's it. Mike drop. Mike drop. That's, That's it. simple. Don't, don't, don't drop it. Don't That's come <laughs> We just got these. That's it. <laughs> yo, that's, that's where we go, rap. y'all. Definitely appreciate y'all. Let's go. DC Incentives episode. Thank you for having 27. Us. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, Let's cut. cut. Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. And we out. It's cut. I'll be cutting. <laughs>